happy art class this is our piece that we just finished in our last video and so we're gonna start our new piece today which is also based on alma thomas and you are going to be needing something round to trace i'm using once again my color wheel to trace you can use a plate or a bowl and you're going to be needing once again a piece of cardstock paper or white paper you can use pencils markers or paint i am going to be using watercolor paint and so let's get started oh and did i say pencil and eraser and sharpener if you need it okay so let's get started Okay, class, I have here my piece of paper and I have already traced in my circle. I'm actually going to recycle a piece of paper that I used with my watercolor on the other side. I'm sorry, my color wheel on the other side. I like to use my papers back to back just because I don't normally frame all my pieces, only some. So I'm just going to go ahead and recycle this paper. I traced my circle already using my color wheel. If you have smaller things to trace than the inside, that was not quite smaller, but something smaller because we're going to need three circles in one, okay? So a way you can do this too is by tying a yarn and making a perfect circle that way. I like to, a lot of the times, freehand my circles. I'm not a perfectionist, so I do not mind that my circles are not perfect. I always do like my at least one, at least the outer one to be. But other than that, I just kind of go for it. I always press lightly though, so I can go ahead and erase it if I don't like it. But I always freehand them. They are always a little bit off, but that's okay. And then one more in the center. There we go. Have my circles. Place it down. Like if you do, if you want to trace something, you can look for three different size objects in your house. I've used lids. Lids like on um, like the Pringles chips or any little containers that have lids, jar lids, things like that. I have saved in the past to trace just for this purpose of, of tracing and creating that perfect circle. Okay. Um, we are going to get started. This piece is going to be using lots of colors and patterns. I am going to be using my watercolor that I have left over still from my last project. So I still have that. And I also have some watercolors that aren't been mixed. And then I'm going to use my favorite. Actually, I'm going to use a wider brush this time. I have my brush. It's this size right here. It's like a little wide. And I'm going to be using this for some of my dashes as long as well as this tip brush right here. So these two brushes, you can use any size, any sizes you guys have. That would be fine. Okay. So there, so there's two ways you can do this project. You can go ahead and paint in the background, any color you want. So for example, red, blue, green right you paint them all in and then you're going to paint on top of those colors and create the pattern line i want to see a lot of pop in the color so i'm going to leave it white and i'm going to go ahead and choose my colors now when i do my patterns inside each one i'm going to use like these dash lines kind of like alma thomas did same dash marks as we used very similar in our landscape piece just different size because I'm using this different size brush. Uh, I'm going to play around with size. So I'm going to go ahead and go for my orange right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the dashes. I'm going to stay inside the circle though, right? The first circle I do. Mm, I'm not liking that shape too much. So I'm just going to stop using that brush. I thought it was going to work out. So I'm going to go back to my favorite brush here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my line patterns again.
But I'm gonna stop, right? Wash my brush. No, I love this, the smaller strokes better. And I'm gonna get a different color. I'm gonna get purple. You guys, please, use any colors that you guys like. Always using the paints that you already have out though is awesome that way you're not wasting your materials. And this one's gonna be darker. Yeah. And it makes this, the first one I mixed with, diluted it with a lot of water, then this shape, I did not. So that's why it looks like this. It looks pretty cool though. Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Actually, I'm gonna go with yellow. So see how I'm using three different colors in each shape? This is an all inspired by Alma Thomas. Sorry if I failed to mention that. It's, but still, it's the week of Alma Thomas, so we're focused on Alma Thomas. And she did a lot of these beautiful prints. I will be showing you one now. There you go. It's so beautiful and bright. So we're inspired by her piece right now. So it, mine looks like that. Okay. So I think I can add like a few more dashes in between here. There we go. I'm going to wash my brush. Now I'm going to start on my second inner circle. I'm going to go with some red. And I like doing the lines. Like I like starting on the edge of my circles and doing oh, that space is a little bit. Okay. A little bit closer together. Doing my edge and then I like doing these rows of line. It just helps me keep this pattern going. But whatever, it's up to you. Whatever feels most comfortable to you. Helicopters outside. I have my window open, so it's those hot days, right? I gotta have my window open. I'm do another row. There you go. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna pick another color. I'm gonna try to pick colors on the on the second one that I haven't chosen in my first circle, so that way the same colors aren't clashing, right? They're all they're different colors. Let's see. I'm gonna go with blue. Blue next. And I think I'm gonna go with a little bit longer lines now. Yeah, change up the shape a little bit. See how that looks. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And I really like this blue on the white by itself. See, because if you painted it first with another color, the the colors would be muted a little bit, right? A little bit darker, but look at how beautiful and bright this blue is. That's what I wanted to see. I think I'll do one more raw blue and then stop. There we go. Awesome. Now I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to go in with my... Oh, I said I was going to do the same colors, huh? Well, I grabbed yellow already, so I really don't want to waste it. It's already on my brush. But I'm going to start at this edge. That way... It's a little bit further out from the other yellow I used. And I'll just do two rows of yellow since I already used it in my last circle. Okay, I'll just have a little, a little peekaboo. 
Now, what Alma Thomas did is she did it a little bit differently where she went like in a circle pattern. So she did it circle out and then it would go out and it would continue to grow but be different colors. I wanted to change it up a little bit. I really was curious if like I did rows in circles, how that would counteract with the different shapes. So, you know, just doing something a little differently and fun. And I really liked how the dashes came out in the landscape, but I wanted to see them pop out more, right? Each dash individually. Each paint stroke. I think I'm gonna go all the way to the end of my circle. And then go ahead and then I'm gonna stop with my green. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different color. I like how my paint is actually getting lighter, but if you don't, always make sure you, oops, you're going to get some more paint. I'm just going to keep going. There we go. So I have my inner circles done, and then I'm going to go out with my outer circle. what colors have I not used so I don't want to use the same colors in my second circle I'm trying to remember that this time and I used red but I didn't use orange I used orange in my first circle so I'm gonna grab orange again my orange is running out a little bit so I'm just gonna mix water with it not get paint I'm gonna start on this side this time I'm gonna go ahead and do my dash lines Mm, I'm gonna do a few rows. Fill it in. I'm just gonna keep doing my orange dashes and actually until my orange paint runs out because it's almost running out. So I want to use all of it until it's gone. You take your time. You do not have to go at my speed. Go your own speed. You can always fast forward or slow down. Okay, so my this is my last row of orange. My paint is done for my orange. There we go. Now I'm going to choose purple again. Lots of purple paint left. Okay, here we go. And instead of going up on top, I'm just going to continue on the bottom. And then, then I'll turn my page around and continue back on top. If you're using watercolors, remember to not have too much water on your painting. Or else you'll get puddles. And the puddles will spill. Red. And since we're not trying to spread this paint out, we're trying to do patterns, that's not what we're going to want. But what's going to be cool, say my puddle, is that this is good. these two, these four are going to dry darker than the rest. It's going to look really cool. Okay, then I'm going to go back to the top of my painting up here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my purple lines up here. Remember, if your hand is tired, pause the video, take a break, get some water. What's cool about doing these videos for you guys is you guys can go at your own speed and pause and go back. And you can watch them again and again and again. There we go. Now I'm gonna go and choose what colors. I have a lot of blue left, but I did my blue in my second circle. So I'm gonna go back. Oh, I have this like orangey red color. It's kind of brown. Let's try that out. Oh, it's a little dark, but I like it. 
almost looks gray or black. I might use this color to outline too, because I do want to outline my circles. I'm going to do one more row of this color. Actually, I might do one more because I don't want it to look like around like that. I want it to look straight down, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to go ahead and do like another row just like that. Stop. And then continue down here. So it gives it that that straight edge right there. See how it's straight and it's not so round anymore? I like that. Now I know I used red in this side, my second circle, but I didn't use it over here. So I'm going to use red again. I have a lot of it. careful not to mess up your other half of your piece if it's still wet there we go you gotta slow down and the size of your circles can very you can do tiny a bunch of tiny little circles just like this within the same piece you could do if you have poster board or butcher paper you can do a huge piece and that's my piece i do have a lot of orange over here now once i finish this i want to outline my circle lines again so i can see those lines you don't have to you can leave it like this I kind of want to. I want to see what it's going to look like. So I'm actually going to choose yellow. I really want to see what yellow would look like. So I already have some. I have so much of the other colors, but I really want to use yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some yellow. Or maybe I'll cut, I'll trace each, each circle a different color. I was going to choose a dark color, but I thought all these colors are light so why not do light oh i like that oh, yeah i'm gonna change actually each color each circle i'm gonna do green now with my second circle oops 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 Oof, a little too fast there. Still looks good though. And then my last one. Okay, so my Alma Thomas inspired piece is finished. If you want, you can color your background. It is completely up to you. Don't forget to wash your brushes. And dry them and lay them straight. Don't forget to wash your palette. Pick up your mess. But this was a lot of fun. Just try doing this outside. On a nice day if you can. Okay, let's do like a fun little close-up piece. Let's do a little close-up. Ooh, look at that. So much fun. Okay, so that leads us to, I hope you had a great class. I'm always happy to be here with you guys. And our affirmation of the day is, my positive thoughts create positive feelings. My positive thoughts create positive feelings. So remember to think positive and live each day and try your best at everything you do and just try your best to be happy. Now we all feel sad, we'll all feel angry, but always find yourself back to that happy place. And if it's art, come back to another video and do another video. 
listen to those affirmations and repeat them so that you remind yourself, right? Remind yourself that it's okay to fight off those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. My positive thoughts create positive feelings. Thank you, class, and have a great day. See you soon.